consciousness arises from quantum activity inside the brain's microtubules. In other words, your self might be a quantum process. And if that's true, maybe a massive trauma like dying could cause that quantum self to desynchronize and reemerge in another nearby timeline. Again, we're in theory territory here, but it's not pure fiction. These are peer-reviewed, though controversial, models, and they line up eerily well with what people describe. Of course, not everyone buys that these experiences are real at all. Skeptics point to false memories. Under stress, our brains can misfire or even fabricate memories. Or disassociation, a defense mechanism during trauma that makes you feel like you're outside your own body. Or shared psychosis, two or more people convincing each other of the same false memory. Or even environmental toxins like mold or carbon monoxide poisoning or, you know, drug use could affect these people's experiences. 